Hey everyone, this is Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your AC uh, condenser, fan, grill. And I'll show you what the one I have right here looks like. See how it's all rusty? So I'm going to go ahead and replace it and I'll show you the steps to do that. And then here's the new one going to be replaced with. And so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn your AC breaker off at your breaker panel. Uh, it's a good idea to turn your thermostat off and then you can pull the breaker from your condenser unit right here on the side of the house. You can see how it just fits right in there. It just pulls out. You just want to make sure it's not going to turn on. Okay, in this case, this is a carrier five ton unit. And to start, you'll need a 11 millimeter socket. And you'll just want to take these screws out. There's four of these screws around the grill. And it's a good idea to take a picture of the electrical. Just that way you'll know how to route it when you get the new grill in. Okay, so that next step is just to loosen the motor with an 11 millimeter deep socket. this over. Careful not to damage your fan blades. Go ahead and cut the wire tie. And once all the wires are clear, you can take the nuts off the bolts for the fan. And once the bolts are off, you can take the fan grill off the fan. I'm going to go ahead and clean out the debris. I went ahead and cleaned it out the best I could. As you can see, there are ports for drainage down in the bottom, so you just want to make sure those are clear. That way, water and small debris can go down in there and out the sides. Now, what I'm going to do, since my compressor is pretty rusty, has a lot of corrosion on it, I'm going to go ahead and get some steel wool and some vinegar and clean this up and I'm going to go ahead and prime it and repaint it. So 
But once it's all done, you can go ahead and throw water on it, rinse it off, and dry it really good before you prime it and paint it. So those would be the next steps. So this is how it looks after it got washed off and all the rust came off of it. And what I did also while I was in here, I just cleaned the condenser coils. Uh, it's really easy to do. All you do is start from the top and work your way down. And that way it gets all the dust out of your condenser coils, out of your fins. And this should be done pretty regularly. You know, if you live in a real dusty, uh, dirty area, it should be done quite often. At least a couple times a year, it's a good idea to clean these out. And you can do it from the inside, the outside. I'm just doing it from the inside since I have the fan grill off right now. Okay, the next thing that I did, the shaft on the fan was really rusty, so I went ahead and cleaned that off with a little bit of vinegar and steel wool. And I'll go ahead and prime that. And as soon as this gets dry, I'm gonna go ahead and prime that and paint it. And I'll show you that. And then I went ahead and took a steel wool around the edges to get the rust off around the screw or the bolt holes. And where the old one was resting, I took off a lot of that rust with some vinegar and some steel wool. Okay, this is what it looks like after priming it. After it gets painted, you can go ahead and start putting the fan on the grill and then the grill back onto the outer air conditioning housing. So first of all, you'll want to turn the grill upside down and just put it on the, the top of the AC unit. Now you will have to line up that motor somewhat because this is going to go right here. So when you flip it over, you want this pretty even with this section right here. So what I've used is a few basic zip ties and then I used a heavy duty zip tie just to make sure the wires stay out of the fan blade area. Okay, and then once you got that done and the nuts are tightened on the bolts for your fan, you can go ahead and put the grill bolts back in. Once you get all the bolts tightened, Go ahead and replace the cap. Just put the cap on. That just sits on there. And then you want to put back all your circuit breakers, 
uh, turn your thermostat back on. Go ahead and check for vibration. Make sure there's nothing loose as far as your motor and then your grill. Just make sure everything looks good and tight. If it all looks good, you're done. Hope this has been helpful. This is Mike from Mike's Do It Yourself. Thanks for watching and good luck on your next home or automotive project.